Angus Lyon and I'm Head of Powertrain at Mahindra Formula E team. Mainly to check the other guys are in control. I don't have a, a track uh, critical role uh, these days. I've run cars in the past from a, an electronics and software sense, but I'm in charge of the team of guys who are responsible for all the electronics and software track side. So usually when I get to the, the track, they're already set up. The cars are, are in the process of being built. And my main aim is really just to make sure that they're under control, there are no problems, get involved if there are problems. Uh, on a good weekend, I uh, can step back and let them do most of the running. On a bad weekend, to make sure that we understand any problems. If we've had problems, we need to make sure because the cars get packed up straight after the race. And if there are problems that we need to investigate, the next time we'll see those cars is at the next event. So we need to make sure we get any information, any tests, any understanding, diagnostics done on the car before we leave. Uh, otherwise, it's usually just a case of wrapping up. We have a, a team meeting uh, towards the end, a couple of hours after the race, uh, before we leave making sure that we've just covered everything, captured everything that needs to be reported, and then the last thing we all do is just muck in and help pack up the garage. Um, the, the, before Formula E, I was in Formula 1. Um, I've been in motorsport on and off for about 18 years now, uh, and mostly in Formula 1. So, motorsport goes in the blood. So. Probably some of our wins and successes that I've been with Formula E with Mahindra since we were a smaller team and we've grown as a team technically and in terms of results. So some of those first results, uh, I think Felix getting the uh, uh, getting first pole position uh, three years ago, I think it was now, um, and seeing the, the achievements of us as a team starting to grow and, and really prove that we could get up in the top places, that was pretty special. I don't know, which means it's probably too rude to pronounce. Went to Glasgow University and I studied electrical and electronic engineering. Laptop, cup of coffee and seat. Probably well, it's between Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso. Um, I worked a, lot, worked a lot more closely with Jensen, so I think it would be Jensen. Uh, he was a, just a really nice guy, easy to work with. Um, so yeah, I've no, got, got very good memories of working with him. All sorts of bits of nonsense around the house, uh, various bits, usually bits related to, to mistakes I've made. Um, so I've got lots of broken bits of bodywork or electronics, um, uh, so yes. My wife's constantly pushing them out of the way. I like doing activities. I've got two young kids, so I keep very busy with them. Uh, they do a lot of sports, but uh, in my own spare time, I like doing running and cycling mainly. So I can help and do as much of that as I can. I really enjoyed Punta del Est. It wasn't the best for, from a racing point of view, but it was uh, in Uruguay. It was a, a stunning seaside holiday city. Um, holiday town really, it's quite a small place. Um, I've always enjoyed places like Chile as well. Uh, it's, it, it, it kind of captures what Formula E should be. It's a, a, par, a city, uh, sorry, a racetrack that's in the park um, in the middle of the city. Um, I think the one that, that captures Formula E best for me though is Paris. Because that really is in the middle of Paris, you can see the Arc de Triomphe, the, Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower in the background. Um, and you can literally walk there from the hotel. So, so probably no specific favourites, I think one of the things that's nice about Formula E is that it's, it's easily um, accessible. Uh, in my days in Formula One you were always traipsing out of town to get to the circuit, whereas you can just walk to the Formula E circuit, so it's, overall it's just a great championship. My wife, a lot of the time, that sounds very cheesy. Um, I always look at some some of the the kind of great people in, in motorsport in terms of motorsport businesses like Malcolm Wilson or David Richards. I've always been a rally fan, um, is my, my personal passion. So, so people like those two who've, who've built businesses uh, and achieved technical excellence um, through those motorsports, I think they're, they're the kind of people I look up to.
I've just finished watching, what was it called? Stranger, I think it was called. Um, and started watching one called Safe, which is about a, a disappeared child. Somebody who's sitting on a beach in the Bahamas. We've started movie night in the past year, so we have roast dinner and movie night on Saturday, and that's now my favourite family tradition. Frozone, out of the Incredibles. He's quite cool. <laughs>